I don't know. I sometimes feel troubled. Those fellas, those boys in blue, they never quite seem the enemy. I know. I used to command some of those boys. Swore an oath, too. Ah, I, I, I couldn't fight against Georgia, South Carolina. Not against my own family. No, sir. There was always a higher duty to Virginia. Yeah, I don't think on that cause much anymore. Yes. My only cause is victory. This war comes as a nightmare. You pick your nightmare side, you just put your head down and you win. <laughs> Old gloomy Pete. We should have freed the slaves, then fired on Fort Sumter. This is almost perfect. Now we got them where we want them. Let's move south and east down the road, get between them and Lincoln, find some good high ground, and then they'll have to hit us. They'll have to. Then we have them, General. Then we have them. You mean disengage? Well, sir, I've always been under the impression that it was our strategy to conduct a defensive campaign wherever possible in order to keep the army intact. If we move south to Washington, they have to pursue us, and then we can fight on ground of our choosing. How can I ask this army to retreat in the face of what they have done this day? Not retreat, sir. Redeploy. Your objective would be that clump of trees yonder. I must tell you now, I believe this attack will fail. No 15,000 men ever made can take that ridge. It's a distance of more than a mile over open ground. What are you thinking, Jim? Shouldn't General Hill lead the attack? My apologies, sir. I've always been very cautious. General Longstreet, should I commence the attack? I shall lead my division forward, sir. 